literally just stop recording and press continue twice. I mean, thanks, board. You could have done this like a day earlier, maybe. I don't know. Hello and welcome back to more Football Manager 2019 with me, Mr. Grantu, and Swansea City, a Welsh development. And as you can see, the board have decided that now is a good time to expand the stadium by 5,117 seats. It's going to cost us around £9 million. And we're going to get, get some money from the council for that. And it's going to take six months to complete. I'm, I kind of expected this from the previous episode, given the fact that we had 99% uh, of stadium capacity used last season so always nice to see this happen uh, they've also agreed to improve the youth facilities um, just to go up to a category one youth level I swear I did this before but apparently not um, but we will be a category one youth uh, level team from I guess next season although the work's going to be finished by the 7th of November anyway in this episode we will be going through doing some transfers. I thought we'd, we'd have a look at this. Let's go through it, see if we can sign uh, some more top quality Welsh players. We'll also see how well Wales get on at Euro 2020, which kicks off in well a few weeks' time, Friday the 12th of June. These are the teams that Wales have in their group, um, Ireland, Spain and Sweden. So I think it's going to be pretty difficult uh, for the Welsh to get out of that group. But, you know, with all of our amazing players, you never know. You never know. Well, the first big shock of the tournament, really. Uh, Daniel James, our best player, has not been picked for Ryan Giggs' final Euro, Euro 2020 squad. Um, obviously, Wales are obviously blessed mostly in the wide areas. You know, David Brooks, Harry Wilson, Gareth Bale. But I still probably would have taken Daniel James as well, given how consistent he's been. Uh, this season, let's have a look and see who has made the final squad then. So Connor Roberts, Joe Roden, James Chester, Tom Lawrence, Tyler Roberts, Chris Meppham, Paul Dummett, Ben Woodburn, Matt Smith, Carl Darlow, Joe Allen and Danny Ward will be flying the flag for Swansea. I mean, I have to say I'm a little bit, a little bit sad, a little bit annoyed and definitely, definitely very sad for Daniel James there that he's missed out. When you consider how bad Danny Ward was this season, and really Ben Woodburn as well, the fact that they're going to European Championships, and Daniel James, who was our Player of the Year, unquestionably our best player, is going to miss out. And the fact that Tom Lawrence has just come back from a massive injury and he's going, um, well, first game of Euro 2020 for Wales, and it's a pretty creditable 1-1 draw against Spain. Um, Gareth Bale, unsurprisingly. The man getting the goals. Danny Ward has been chosen to start in goal, despite the fact that he has played about five matches all season. That makes sense, Ryan, doesn't it? Yeah, not not Carl Darlow, who's played every game since January. But Roberts played, Chester played, Meppen played. So we've got three quarters of the defence there. Um, Matt Smith uh, played as well. If anyone else come off the bench, Joe Allen came off the bench, uh, as did Tom Lawrence. So a lot of boys getting involved there. Um, nobody particularly amazing. Oh, Roberts got the assist, actually. So, very nice from him. 2-0 uh, win against Sweden in their second game. Both goals from Sam Vokes, who could well end up finding himself on our books next season. Uh, we will have to wait and see on that. Uh, but both goals from him. Um, Ward played, kept a clean sheet. Roberts, Chester, Metham, again, three quarters of the defence. Excellent ratings. For the three of them, Matt Smith played again as well. Um, Tyler Roberts played and got the assist for one of the goals. Again, not too bad. Woodburn and Allen both coming on. We are having a pretty good presence on this tournament. And it looks like Wales, despite my uh, assessment earlier, it looks like they, well, they're currently top of the group. And with one game to spare, they have a very, very good chance of going through as the only team we have left to play is Ireland. Well, a 2-1 defeat to Ireland in the end. Uh, Sam Vogt's getting the only goal for Wales, but two for Scott Hogan, giving the Irish three points in this one. But it doesn't really matter in the end because Wales have gone through to the second round where they will play Slovenia. Spain and Ireland both also getting through from that group. There is not going to be a repeat of the heroics of four years ago. Not another 
semi-final for the Welsh. They've been knocked out in the first knockout round uh, here at Euro 2020 against Slovenia, losing 3-2. Tom Lawrence and Sam Vogt getting goals, but the Slovenians, um, well, taking an early lead, they went 2-0 up. Uh, Wales came back in, but a 70th minute goal from Tim Matavs gave the Slovenians the win. And well, a good performance from Conor Roberts. Two goal, two assists, sorry, for him. A goal for Tom Lawrence uh, as well. Um, a lot of our players playing there. But a disappointing end to the tournament for Wales. They looked like they were doing started off really well. Uh, but they haven't quite managed to make it through. Okay, we've been here for two years now. I think it's probably, it's time we, we really made sure that the squad was pretty much entirely Welsh. So players who are not Welsh whose contract is coming to an end, um, I think this is this, this is the time to say goodbye. So Erwin Mulder, as good as you were for us in the championship, uh, we've got Carl Darlow now and to a lesser extent Danny Ward. So I'm afraid you're going to have to go. Um, Jan Dander as well, just he's, he's not particularly very good anyway, so he needs to go. George Byers as well. We've had some some good times, so many good free kicks, but time for you to leave as well. Nathan Dyer and Martin Olsen have both also departed as well. They weren't even interested in signing a new contract. Well, we've got a pretty good offer for Ollie McBurney from Hull. Um, I should say at this point, I'm taking a little bit of a risk at the moment by not renewing Ben Woodburn's loan. I'm kind of hoping he's going to get transfer listed because I, I did have a little look and see if Liverpool would sell him, um, but they wanted crazy money. And frankly, I'd rather have Harry Walton as our other loan slot. And we can just buy Sam Vokes, I think. So I'm not desperate if we don't get Woodburn. Um, but yeah, we definitely need to get ourselves another couple of strikers, probably another goalkeeper, definitely an attacking midfielder, and I think another central midfielder as well, because Matt Grimes and Bur Angelino, they may be the only non-Welsh players left at the club pretty much now, but, um, well, we will have to see what happens with them. We have had an offer accepted for Harry Wilson on loan. Hopefully he doesn't want to go back to Derby again, doesn't want to join anybody else. That would be really nice. Well, Ben Woodburn has not been immediately transfer listed. He's also not been put back officially on the loan list, although I'm sure they would probably accept a loan offer. Let's see if we can buy him permanently. They want 59 million for him. So that's not going to happen at all. You know, he, we could still get him on loan, but obviously we can't because we've already got Matt Smith on loan and we're going to try and get Harry Wilson on loan as well. So we'll keep an eye in case he does get transfer listed. But in the meantime, I think for our second striker, we will need a one-time Euro 2020 top scorer, Mr. Sam Vokes. Um, that's, I think that's increased his valuation quite a lot from Stoke there. But hopefully we can get that down a bit. I think physically, he's 30 years old, but physically he's still pretty good. Um, not necessarily a natural as an advanced forward, but actually, I mean, look at his attributes. He's pretty solid for it. Only really dribbling is kind of letting it down. And I think, well, if we're not going to have Woodburn, who frankly wasn't particularly good last season, uh, then folks, is pretty good as a rotation option with Tyler Roberts. See if we can go a little bit lower than what they want. Um, 7.5 million. I think that's quite fair, really. Okay, 64 million they want for him. Okay, really? He's, I mean, that's not at all what I expected. And it's kind of thrown a bit of a spanner in the works. But hopefully, actually, we can potentially get him to be a bit annoyed at the fact that Stoke wants so much money for him. I think, did they get promoted? Did Stoke get promoted? Is that why? They did. Oh, great. They did. Brilliant. Yeah, excellent news. Really what we needed. I was kind of banking on just getting him for like £5 million, but if they've been promoted, um, yeah, not, not really ideal. Well, our one-time championship promotion rivals, Derby County, who survived by the skin of their teeth last season, have decided to put a bid of 16.75 million, potentially rising 24 million in, for Daniel James. And all I can say is, <laughs> get, go away. I mean, why would I sell him? Why would I sell him to anyone? And certainly, why would I sell him to Derby? 
Just how ridiculous. I mean, I know in real life he's gone to Man United, but we're not in any sort of financial straits at all. We're rich. We're in the Premier League. There's no reason whatsoever for him to go um, at all, and certainly not to go to a team that performed considerably worse than us last year. Oh, he's got food poisoning now. I, I sense a plot. I sense a plot from Derby there. Well, it's not quite been the transfer window that I was perhaps hoping for. We have made uh, a signing, though. Emir Hughes joins us, us from Ipswich. Pretty cheap deal, 3.4 million. I like him because he's actually left-footed, so um, he could actually provide some realistic cover for Matt Grimes in the box-to-box -box role. Uh, without having to worry about the fact that he is just going to get his feet in a muddle all over the place. So um, at least that's something. We do still need an attacking midfielder. Harry Wilson's loan's not been confirmed. David Brooks, I don't think we're going to get. He's just going to be too expensive. And apparently Sam Vokes is as well. So we're going to have to look potentially at cheaper options for that one. Harry Wilson's loan is about to be confirmed. He's so good. I think we're going to have to confirm it, even if it's going to leave us potentially short in the striker department. For some reason, Stoke only want like £40 million pounds for a 30-year-old Sam Vokes. I don't really get it, if I'm honest with you. Um, but there we go. We might, we might have to do it. We might just have to go out and do it. We might just have to spend big money on Ben Woodburn or something instead. But yeah, not, not ideal, really. Well, who would have thought that using such a limited player pool would have such massive issues? Um, Vokes is not going to join us. I was hoping he's kind of going to force a transfer, but he's happy to stay at Stoke, and they want pretty much thirty-five million for him. I'm not spending thirty-five million on a thirty-year-old Sam Vokes. That's insane. Um, Liverpool don't want to sell Ben Woodburn either. We can't get him back on loan, which means we're probably going to have to sign Tom Bradshaw as the only other option. Um, that's really what it's come to. I think that I'm going to wait until pretty much deadline day to do that one and just sort of hope, hope that they, hope that they accept the offer and we don't have to pay too much money and that, yeah, hopefully something else will come out before then. Um, but I mean, we, we could probably sign David Brooks. It would cost a lot of money. And I don't know if we necessarily need him. We've got Wilson in. We do have quite a few wingers now, actually. But he can kind of play in central midfield. Maybe. He can play. And he's left-footed as well. He can train and play as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Maybe not. Um, but he can play an attacking midfield. He can maybe play as a striker as well. So, you know what? I mean, I, I think I'm probably going to do one more season of this. So, yeah, let's just let's just give them all the money. We've got £50 million to spend. Why not? We've literally got £50 million. Pounds spend and I'm not spending it on Sam Vokes so I'd rather just I'd rather spend it on David Brooks really let's give you you want 25 we'll go we'll go well we'll go, we'll go let's go 22 22 million now plus 7.5 in installments no that's not what I wanted not what I wanted really 25 I'll go 25 plus 12 yeah that's fine no too much money. I mean, that's kind of like the limit of what I want to go with. 40. They, they go with that. 25 plus 15. 40 million. Hopefully he doesn't want too much in terms of wages. But, I mean... Why not? I'm not, yeah, as I say, we're not going to do more than one more season of this because it's just kind of insanely frustrating. That's not bad, really. 68k. We've got, we've got the money. We might as well. We might as well. Let's get rid of this. That's not happening. Win. Okay, right. David Brooks coming in. Hopefully we can get a sound vote for Ben Woodburn. If not, we'll be getting Tom Bradshaw. Potentially, we could get somebody like Andy King. That's really it, really. Bale and Ramsey are never going to be interested in joining. 27 million, it's a lot of cash, but, well, why not? You know, why not? He's good. He can play an attack in mid. He can play on the right. He can play as a striker if we need him to. I think we now do have um, a 
very, very solid, versatile front three. A lot of players that can play in pretty much all those positions. I think defence, pretty much okay. The issue really is midfield. The issue is the striker. We've got Tyler Roberts, we've got Hal Robson Carnu, and the only three options we have are paying like 40 million for Sam Vokes, 60 million for Ben Woodburn, or neither of whom are even close to being good enough to justify those prices. Or we buy Tom Bradshaw from Millwall, which is probably what we're going to have to do just to make up the numbers. I might get another goalkeeper in as the third choice, but otherwise I think we're pretty much set. Um, yeah. If we could persuade Aaron Ramsey to come from Juventus, that would be great, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I might potentially buy Andy King, because of course of all of this, we will we will still have... I could probably sell Cellini now that we've got Brooks. We do still have Matt Grimes, and we do still really need Matt Grimes, because we signed Emir Hughes, but there isn't really anybody else that is left-footed, particularly. Um, so, yeah, I think Matt Grimes is probably going to be the one exception to the rule um, for now, and then we'll probably end up keeping him. I mean, are you? can you be Welsh? Can we pretend you're Welsh? He's not eligible for Wales. He'll never be eligible for Wales, but... Well, I mean, I have bought Andy King. He was transfer listed for 900k. Can't really say no to that. He's only 31. I mean, he's not the best player in the world, but I mean, he's pretty solid for a 31-year-old. Um, can play on both sides of midfield. He is he is only uh, he's got a reasonable left foot, which isn't ideal, but I think he can probably cope there, to be honest. Certainly better than someone like Joe Allen could. So, yeah, I mean, we're just looking for a striker, and I think we're pretty much done. And, well, Matt Grimes would be pretty much the only uh, non-Welsh player in the first team squad. I have accepted an offer for Bersan Chalina. Hopefully he will accept it because he's not going to be playing very much and I'd rather just catch him on it. Uh, West Ham have made an offer for Chris Meppham again. I mean, just like with the Daniel James offer we got from Derby. No. Why would I Why would I sell him? And indeed, Bursa Angelina has agreed to join Atalanta. 12.25 million. I'm, I kind of... I do feel bad for him because he's played pretty well for us this season and I've just sort of kicked him out because... I, I, he's not Welsh, which is uh, kind of harsh, really, but them's the breaks. That's the rules of the challenge. That's what we got to do. Uh, it's transfer deadline day, and unsurprisingly, Ben Woodburn and Sam Vokes do not want to join us for anything like a reasonable fee. So I guess we're going to have to buy Tom Bradshaw because otherwise we only have really one striker, unless we play Robson Carnu as a striker or Billy Bowden as a striker, and I don't want to do that. So there we are then, a bit of a clear out, and um, we got, I, I felt quite frustrated throughout most of that, but we did get pretty much everyone I wanted really, um, with the exception of uh, either Woodburn or Vokes in place of Bradshaw, and I mean it would have been nice to get Bale and Ramsey, but that's not going to happen. Anyway, Harry Wilson joins our loan, we got Oliver Denham on a three, Andy King for 900k, Emir Hughes for probably too much money, Tom Bradshaw for definitely too much money, David Brooks for way too much money, but actually I don't really care, because he's really good. Um, Janine is gone, McBurney's gone, Fulton's gone, uh, Blair and Poulet, who I didn't even know existed, are gone, and Declan John's gone off on another loan again as well. Um, Dyer, Olsen, and Mulder have been released, and um, Byers as well, and Jan Danda too, and that has left us with a first team squad that is entirely Welsh in every single position. Except Matt Grimes, he's he's being a little bit awkward, is Matt here? I'm I'm the only one. He's the only one. Well, to be honest, I don't know how much he's going to be playing this season. He'll probably still be starting for us, but um, I didn't want to get rid of him because there really isn't anybody else that can actually play on the left there particularly well. I mean, he's the one exception. He's going to stay. I uh, we haven't we didn't receive an offer for him. I I already forced Chilina out. I felt bad doing it for. Rhymes as well, so we kind of just left him there. But there we go then. Um, I've not even looked at our fixtures yet, and we've oh great, we've got to play Spurs and Liverpool. Spurs away, Liverpool, the champions at home are our opening two matches. Absolutely fantastic. Well, 
that's going to have to come up next time then. See us get destroyed. Um, if you've enjoyed this transfer ridiculousness, um, leave a like down below. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel as well. And I will see you next time for us to be completely and utterly trashed by Liverpool and Spurs, I guess. Bye bye.